Hey guys, uh, just trying something new here. Uh, trying to put together a couple of vids on how to play Call of Duty in hardcore mode. There's, I see a lot of videos of uh, Call of Duty games where people uh, go over uh, core mode, and I don't see very many videos about hardcore mode. And hardcore mode is the primary mode that I like to play, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people that play this mode too. And so, yeah, here's the first one I'm trying to do uh, a tutorial on uh, Nuketown for Black Ops 3. I see a lot of people playing this map, and uh, a lot of people enjoy playing this map. It's one of my favorite maps, but uh, when I play public games, I run into a lot of people that don't play this map, I guess, strategically, because basically it's just one square and each team spawns on either side of the square and what people like to do is they if they're like to lose they either run into the, the opposing team spawn and they force the other team to spawn behind them or they get trapped in the middle and then the, the enemy team either spawns in front of them and behind them so you're just getting massacred in the middle and I see this a lot happening and you can prevent this if you just play like this was like the revolutionary war and you just have two a line in the middle and you just either just uh, make a wall of fire and just cover all sides and that's the best way you can probably play this map but here's an example of uh, a match where me and my brother are playing and our teammates are just running in getting killed and so my brother has to step up and do his thing, so here, I'll, sh I'll show you right now. Get out there and get the win. As you can see here, people like to just run in without checking the corners, which is pretty bad. It doesn't get mowed down. Oh, 
friendly lightning strike inbound. Here comes the pain. Is our go. best deterrent. Excellent work. My brother single handedly turned the match around. And you can see what I was doing. Let's see here. Uh, let's switch it to my view. While he was running his Cerberus, this is me. I'm watching our spawn so that they don't spawn behind us. You can notice the teammates, they're all just running. They're going to go run towards the enemy spawn. And if nobody was here to watch this spawn, they would be spawning behind us. So this actually feeds kills for my brother. They're going to be spawning right in front of us. the end of this video I just want to show the power of making a line and not having constant spawn changes for your team and if you just follow that simple strategy you'll end up winning Nuketown a lot more <laughs>